spoilers about end game ahead you have been warned hello guys i'm nora prince and in this video i'll tell you why i feel that avengers infinity war was a better film than avengers end game don't get me wrong there i loved end game and i've already seen it thrice yesterday was the third time and i was screaming at the end when the climax battle is going on what marvel the writers the directors have done is fantastic and a masterpiece it is surely an cinematic achievement no doubt about that but as a film i think infinity war was a better one compared to end game so the first reason is perspective infinity war was all about the perspective of thanos whereas end game is from the perspective of the avengers or the remaining avengers now when you compare it a film with a single perspective will of course be a tighter and a better film than a one where there are a lot of characters no doubt that they pulled it off amazingly well but still when there's a single perspective in the film it's a more consistent film my second point will be consistent tone of course infinity war has a consistent tone throughout the film whereas in end game we start with a grim and slow paced movie and at the end it becomes like a what avengers should be a blockbuster battles and all that stuff with quirky lines and a lot of fun and jokes end game feels like there are two separate movies the first half the pacing is slow but by the end it catches up all well there could have been two movies after the snap what happened as one movie and how they brought everyone back to life reverse the snap as a separate movie third point will be length as a fan all of us have been invested in this universe and i would even watch a 6 hour version of this film but looking at it as a film i felt that this could have been two movies easily 3 hours were not enough to tell this story there was so much going on there was so much character interaction we missed we missed how hulk became professor hulk and there are a lot of things like that and i wish they would have made it into two separate movies number 4 my last point this is very tricky this is not the fault of the film at all this is just that what we have learned in the previous film infinity war our expectations were subverted we never thought a heroes could lose and that thanos will snap his fingers and everything will be over and thanos will be sitting at the end smiling we learned a lesson that anything can happen and when this movie comes out we know this is the last movie of all the main characters who have been in this universe for the last 10 years someone will die the characters will be leaving the universe or retiring which all leads to predictability there's nothing that this movie could have done that i was like oh shit how could they do that because i am already trained in the last film that anything could happen maybe if this movie would have come 2 or 3 years later or and a movie about after snap stories in the middle it would have been a different experience but when you know within the next day you get the end game and it's the last movie of the whole universe things narrow down to what can happen and what cannot when thanos get the stones again in end game at the end if you would have snapped it i would have been ready for it because it could happen but i know he will not be able to snap because it's the last film and heroes will win finally that's not the problem of the film but the timing of the film the debate about the film the talks the buzz all around it that has led to a lesser experience of a film than infinity war but again nothing to take away from end game it is just fabulous looking and going through with those characters for 10 years and the journey coming to an end part of the journey is the end There are a lot of twists and surprises throughout the narrative. Professor Hulk, the Hail Hydra scene, it's one of my best. Captain America versus Captain America, that's America's ass. Captain America holding Thor's hammer. Every time I see it, I shout and scream. And of course, Tony Stark's death. When I saw it second time on the biggest screen possible, IMAX, it was sad and I literally cried. I don't know after so many years I cried and it was an amazing and refreshing feeling. As I said, this movie will be remembered. forever in the cinematic history what this movie achieved i don't think it anyone will able to create it again maybe marvel can but for at least now this movie has created history with the box office final chapter of these 22 movies so guys thank you for watching this video if you like this thumbs up if you didn't thumbs down no problems tell me in the comments what are your thoughts on this if you agree with me if you disagree with me it's okay tell me in the comments i would love to hear your thoughts If you are new to the channel, check out other videos, and if you like them too, do consider subscribing. So, guys, thank you for watching, and I'll see you later.